Hello and welcome to tutorial 23 in the Microsoft Visual Basic .NET programming tutorials. Right now we're going to take a little break from the hard coding and there's a lot of coding to come up like booleans and doubles and whatnot but for this this one we're going to use a little fun tool called the timer. Now first create a project and call it just call it timer. Okay, so basically what a timer is, is it will allow you to execute a code f every x, x seconds or milliseconds. So, let's say we want to show a message box every 10 seconds. We could simply do this by using a timer. So, let's go ahead and put the timer in there. And this is not going to be how to create uh, an actual stopwatch or anything like that but this is just an example of how we could use the timer to count up time so you're going to add a timer and it's going to show up on the bottom here and then simply add a text box and we'll give it the value of 1 okay so now that you have that you need to also add a button and call that start okay so this is a pretty hard concept to grasp if you've never programmed before well I don't think there is there are timers in many more programming languages but it's still quite a hard concept to grasp so just try and follow if you can so if we double click this timer code right here in between this timer one underscore tick and this private sub here and end sub this is the code that's going to be executed every x seconds so what we want this to do is take textbox one dot text equals textbox one dot text plus one so that all that's going to do is every time this timer executes the code it's going to add one to the text inside textbox one so and I should probably create an int integer for this but that doesn't really matter because all we're doing really is learning how a timer works we're not creating a stopwatch here so now that you have this set up you you you're thinking okay that's fine but how do I actually use the timer so if you double click start the button one dot click there's two ways you can do this the first way is by typing timer one dot start like that and that will start the timer and the second way is by typing timer one dot en enabled equals true now either way is going to be is going to start the timer but for this we'll just use timer one dot start so now that you have that we're actually going to create another button as well to stop the timer so create another button and change the text to stop and you should know what the text in this is going to be it's going to be timer one dot stop. Okay, so let's just look over this. Up here at the top in timer one underscore tick, this sub, we have the code that's going to be executed every time the timer well, every X seconds that we're going to set it to. And then in the button one it's going to start the timer and button two it's going to stop. So now we're nearly done. The last thing we need to do is to configure how often the timer will execute the code so all you do is simply click on a timer down here and then up here near the bottom you'll see interval now for e every 1000 that represents a second so change the interval to 1000 for a second and then if you want two seconds it's 2000 and etc but let's just change this to 1000 and now that we have that set up we'll just go to the debug and now when we start this this one will keep increasing every one second so let's hit start two three four see and it keeps going on until we stop the timer by hitting the stop button and then if we want to go on again it's going to come from text box one text so it'll keep going up and then we'll stop so that was just a little tutorial on how the timer works it's really really useful part of the programming language and it's used in a lot of things like keyloggers to send log files every x seconds and 
and on ties and things like that so you really need to know what a time here is and how to work it and I'm actually going to teach you how to set the interval as well you could also type timer one dot interval equals one thousand if you wanted to that would change the interval you could change it to two thousand or you could even change it to text box two dot text if you had an, a second text box but right now that's all you need to know to understand how a timer works and how to use one so thanks for watching the tutorial and please comment if you have any questions please comment also if you have any suggestions or a request and also rate the video and subscribe thanks